Hey guys, how you doing and welcome back to this custom scenario on Total War Warhammer. And well, what a magnificent sight that is in front of you right now. Because these gentlemen are Knights of the Realm on foot for Batonia. These have been added to their roster via a mod, which is available of course to download. So if you want to go and get it for yourself, I've left a link in the description to the Steam Workshop. And they look absolutely, I'm sure you'll agree, bloody glorious. They do look so good. Cosmetically, they're no different to their cavalry variant. But what they do is give a little bit of an oomph to the infantry in Batonia. Because we know how sort of weak the infantry are in the Batonian roster. These guys will give them a little bit of a kick at least, hopefully. Now, law-wise, Knights of the Realm don't tend to dismount off their horses, I believe, but also they did say in the mod they will do anything for the lady, so if they have to dismount, then so be it, and that's what they've done today. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, as I say, they'll give them, or give the Bretonians a little bit of a, uh, a boost in the infantry sort of side of things, because that's where their problems lie. Saying that though, I've seen recently that a lot of people are starting to play as Batonia in multiplayer battles because I think we're starting to see players get to grips with them, start to know how to use them. So it is good to see that because when we first had the game come out, Batonia were completely classed as a no-no. But now it seems to be people are figuring, figuring them out because of their massive potential and strength in their cavalry. And talking about cavalry, we've got some Knights of the Realm on horseback for this battle today. We've got six of them. Three on the left flank and three on the right flank over there. So they're ready. These gentlemen are ready. King Luan Lienke is ready. Look at him. He is absolutely ready for this battle. He's going to be leading his forces in the clash today. But who are they facing off against? Well, I'll tell you. They are facing off against a huge army of the undead we've got where we go here we go we've got grave guard we've got grave guard with great weapons we've got zombies skeletal warriors we've got skeletal spearmen somewhere as well i think they're down here they're somewhere anyway there they are they're over there skeletal spearmen they've got five thousand for this battle five thousand two hundred and one to be exact and also i'm using another mod for this battle and that is a mod that unlocks more factions for custom battles because you notice this icon is not the usual black and red of the vampire council this is because these are the Mausolean or Mausolean faction I think I'm pronouncing that correctly I'm probably not but if I am great stuff if I'm not let me know down below but I'm gonna go for Mausolean with it um, so yeah basically this is who they are and they are descending upon the Bretonians today ready to destroy every single man but they are prepared these are Knights of the Realm for God's sake these are the elite of the elite. So hopefully, I mean, they look absolutely superb, don't you? Love the look of them. So good, so so regal. The helmets, oh, just amazing. So yeah, it's 1,000 of us, 5,000 of them. So it should be quite, and well, in fact, it is. It's in, this is an incredible battle. It goes down to the absolute wire. It is so close. I'm not exaggerating, it is, so, it is so close. So anyway, we are fighting this on the battle map of La Mesentale Abbey. There it is, on the high ground over there. So let us begin and see if we can fight for the lady and gain victory for the lady today. So yeah, they're descending upon us now. So some of them have broken off. They've seen the cavalry over here. Let's go into cinematic mode or take off the UI, I should say. Zombies have started to approach, so we've pulled the cavalry back. Try to avoid a fight early on, because obviously these are shock cavalry, so they're going to be most effective on the charge, not just going into melee via a standstill, really. So they're giving chase to the cavalry now, but we've turned about now. We got, we're going for charge. Yes! Oh my god, they're going flying! So we basically just went back a little bit down here, turned around really, really quickly, and then gave them an absolute almighty charge, which is wonderful. So now we've sent the zombies in a bit of a state of frenzy. Look at them. They're going mental. Absolutely mental. Anyway, let's go back to the fight here, because this is where it's going to start erupting in a minute. Here we go. The zombies have 
Coming in. Here come the Grave Guard and the Skeletal Warriors. Are you ready, men of the Bretonia? This is your time. This is your hour. Come on. Look at him. Stand your ground, men. Here, look at him leaping out. Amazing stuff. Oh, hey, oh, where are we going? Right, the centre starting to incur some of the main force of the Skeletal Warriors coming in now. Sending them flying those great swords that the Bretonians have got here. But I don't know if they're great swords, but they're very, very long swords. And they're slashing the Skeletal Spearmen and the Warriors. Slashing them completely in half. Sending them flying back. What an absolutely beautiful sight to see. But the thing is, the Grave Guard have not engaged yet. That's the problem. They are the elite. Oh, yes, they have. They're over here. They are actually have engaged. These are the, the elite of the enemy today, especially the, great, the Grave Guard with the great weapons. So it's going to be very, very intense here. In fact, that's a, that's a cracking screenshot that is there, you know. That's a cracking screenshot. Let's do it. There we go. One more for good luck in a second when we've got one of these jumping up. One more, there we go. Oh, and like a photographer today, it's wonderful. Anyway, right. So we've got extreme pressure on this right. Extreme pressure. We need the cavalry to come across as soon as possible. In fact, where the hell are they? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Boom. Oh my God. That is incredible. They are making them go absolutely flying. It's wonderful to see. We've got a unit of zombies being a little bit cheeky over here. Are they trying to flank around the side? I think they are. I'm going to try and put some pressure on this left. Let's have a look at the numbers so far. They've lost just about... Well, we've lost about, what, 30-odd? No, 40. And they've lost uh, nearly 1,000 already. So that's a good start. Here we go again. The Bretonians from the left. I think this is coming in from the charge. Every charge we can try and watch here, we shall, because they're just magnificent on this game. I love the charge impact of cavalry on Warhammer. It is just amazing. So we've got a lot of units already starting to crumble, starting to you know take some some severe damage here. This is good to see, very good to see. So we've really engaged strong in the centre now. It's all a case of allowing the cavalry to keep manoeuvring, keep going for those cycle charges. But at the same time, standing strong in the center with the infantry. That's what we've got to do. Really hold our ground. And these are the best chance we've got of it. And of course, with King Leon Leonker, Leonker, Leonker in the fight, anything is possible because he is just an absolute beast. I love his glowing, fiery sword. It's just awesome. Oh my god! I didn't see that one coming. Jesus, that caught me off guard. <laughs> Wow. Destroy him, yes. Send them back to their graves. Let's go back on to uh, cinematic mode again. This deserves every cinematic angle it can. It's a beautiful battle, it really is. It's a good job from the Knights of the Realm here. They're doing a great job of getting these charges in. Some of them have carried on going for a charge into this unit of Grave Guard with the great weapons. You don't want to be engaged with it. No, you don't want to be engaged in melee against them because that will be the result of it. You will die. Go for the skeletal warriors. Go for the zombies. They are the weaker forces. They are the units that will probably have more of a chance of getting destroyed. Oh, yes. Here we go again. Let's follow them in battle here. I love how they sort of really up the game and up the speed of the charge as they finally go in for the, the impact there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So good. Oh, a unit has broken off. Are they going to try and flank around the side here? I think they are. They're going to try and support the cavalry units. Here we go. Come on. Do not be scared by what is in front of you. These will die if you have the belief and the heart to do it and so far we have a few units being buffed there I think that's by 
the king himself. Giving them a Mamelli attack boost or leadership boost, maybe. Look at them. They're frightened by the enemies. They do not be frightened. We shall prevail if we believe. I love how they're stabbing them with the, with the lances. That's so good. Oh, God. That was a great shot by that unit there. I mean, sometimes there's nothing to say, really. So just, you just have to take it in. The, the, the vision, the, the this sort of thing, does all the talking I could do. You know what I mean? There's nothing to be said when you can see beauty like this on a screen, really. So good. Actions sometimes do speak louder than words. But we are, let's have a look at the statistics here. We're starting to see a creep up in the balance of power now towards us. But still, we've got a massive, massive task on our hands. Because, okay, they have taken quite a lot of losses so far. But that will be of the zombies and the skeletal warriors. The Grave Guard, oh no, they're still in for the fight. And that's where... The test will come. That's where the challenge will be for these beautiful knights of Bretonia. I'm giving them as many compliments as I can really on time. <laughs> I'm sure you agree there, they do look awesome. So a few of the knights have broken off from the main line here, trying to give chase to the fleeing units of the Undead here, unless this one has actually broken. That's actually that that is wavering. So the grave guard is starting to <coughs> make a little bit of progress in the front line here. It is down to the king now, and who is left in the battle to remain as strong as they possibly can, and let the cavalry do as much damage as they can. Carry on doing those charges from the rear, and surely we have got a chance of winning this battle. Here we go again. Just going up for another charge now. Oh, yes. Nice buff as they go in as well. Just lining up for these charges now as quickly as they possibly can. We've got some of these guys coming in. Some zombies, some skeletal warriors coming back into the fight. <coughs> this is not what I want to see. Yeah, that's it. Try and get out there because they're coming for you. Move, 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 move. Go, go, go. That's so close. I thought you were going to get taken down by those warriors then. Okay, coming back up to the main fight. He's really sort of all down to this area now here. This is where the final part of the battle will be broken down. There's nothing much between these units of the Grave Guard and the Knights of Realm on foot because they're very close to their abilities. And I think the Necromancer has just raised... Yes, he has. He's raised the dead. He's raised a horde of zombies into the battle. And that's a fresh unit coming in. I mean, okay, they're only zombies, but still, that's more numbers for the Bretonians to have to face off against. Come on, lads. Get down the hill. Support your brothers in arms today. God, it's so close. There's the king himself. Boom. Constantly trying to buff his units, trying to buff his own abilities as well. The uh, cavalry have taken a lot of damage so far. I think what this unit's got a few units left, but not many. The cavalry, as I say, are down to quite low numbers now. Oh, God. As I said, so close. This battle is so close. What have we got here? 3 minutes 44 seconds left. It's so close in the balance of power as well. It could go either way, this could. In fact, I'm going to keep up the UI now. Just so I can show you the UI, how close it will go. And the numbers here. Because, as you know, these undead units, they will crumble. They won't waver, though. <laughs> the dead don't flee. They will fight to every single unit has gone. So we've got to take them all down. 
Come on. Oh, look at this. A load of the units over here. Oh, the platoons are starting to flee. Oh, God. The pressure is on now. Come on. Form up. Stand your ground. Believe you can win this. Come on. A lot of uh, crumbling going on over here, though. This Grave Guard is starting to wither away. But so are the Bretonians as well. If you've got a buff, stand, yeah, stand your ground has been initiated. Leadership 16 plus. That is what we've got to keep going for. Leadership. Melee defense, melee attack is good, but leadership is massive. Trying to keep the morale up of these units. And it's down. Now, look at this. These units have fleed the field. And it's got, we've got two units of the Knights of the Realm on here. And a unit, oh, the, the unit of King Luan Lianke. But apart from that, we've gone. They have fleed. Can they come back? Are they regrouping back into the fight, gentlemen? Back into the fight. This cavalry has been initiated across to go and charge this unit over here. Come on. Come on. Charge downhill will be glorious. Yes, it will. Oh. God, they're going about 25 feet across the field there. Yeah, more so than that. Probably about 25 yards are being flung across, actually. Um, is that the neck? Where's the necromancer? We, yeah, he is. He's being surrounded here by this unit, this single unit of Knights of the Realm. And, oh, no. What's he summoning here? Something. Oh, and here come... The units have regrouped, they've rallied back together for the lady. Oh yes, they're surrounding the necromancer now. This is where the balance of powers could start to creep towards Bretonia. Oh god, so, so close. We have got the advantage, obviously we are fighting downhill now. Which hopefully should be in our favour a little bit. Calvary coming back for another charge. Yes! So, so little, so few of them left, but still causing so much damage. And it's so, it's good, it's so lucky that obviously he is such a magnificent melee fighter, King Leon Luanka. Because if he wasn't, we would be in trouble. A melee expert, thank God for that. If he was a magician, a magician, a wizard, sorry, then we would be probably in trouble. But because he can fight on for so long, um, we, we should have... A massive advantage with that. And now the Necromancer is starting to crumble. And it's causing the units to start mass disintegration. Mass crumbling is occurring now. Critical damage sustained. They are going mental. Oh, yes. Here we go. The balance of power has now flung towards Bretonia. And the last remaining units have finally, from nowhere, grabbed the victory and won the battle on the outskirts of Le Mesentale Abbey. Wow, what a fantastic clash that was. So let's have a look at the statistics here and see the final numbers before we go. Obviously, the vampires or the um, Mussolian, uh, they lost every single unit as they had to. Uh, and But we lost 814. So we only had 267 remaining of 1,081 that first started the battle. Woohoo! Let's have a look at the numbers. 473, 412, 348. They are pretty impressive numbers. 320, 251, 246. So some really impressive kill numbers there. He also forgot the man himself. 344. So yeah, some very strong numbers there coming through in the end. Really showing their elite discipline. And well, it was just enough to gain victory in the end by the skin of their teeth so yes it was quite as i said quite a close battle i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed these sort of scenario battles that i do on my channel if you wanted to see more then let me know some suggestions in the comments and of course if you did enjoy the video please drop your like and as always thank you so much for watching but until next time this is warrior spotter for now saying farewell